Hey everyone, welcome back to Zagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. Today's video is going to be very quick. We're going to be playing with some new Charlotte Tilbury, pseudo new. These were previously released. They're the lip and cheek glows and she re-released them. I'm not sure if they're permanent. So if you like what you see today or if you feel like you've missed out the first time, then definitely get on it because I'm not sure if they're gonna be permanent. I mean, she usually does make most of her stuff permanent at some stage of the game, but not always. I also got the new brow fix from Charlotte Tilbury. She released this a little while ago and I finally ran out of my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. So I thought I would try this one because I'm so stuck on that one for good reasons, of course. I just thought I would try something new. So we'll go ahead and put that through our brows. Before we get started, of course, I invite you to subscribe today. If you wanna see more videos from me, don't forget to ring that notification bell just to get notified of when I upload. I have been uploading later in the evenings, mountain time. I just feel like that works for me just in terms of my schedule with work and my kids and editing. So definitely ring that notification bell because it just lets you know when I have uploaded so you don't miss out on any videos if you wanna see more from me. Okay guys, that's it for today's intro. Let's get straight into this quick little demonstration. And right, first things first, let's just put some of this through our brows. It's supposed to give a very nice, almost like pseudo laminated effect. We shall see that 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. It stays on all day and it keeps the shape of your brows looking amazing. I do like the effect of soap brows. However, I like the convenience of a brow gel. So let's go ahead and try this on. The brush looks a little bit smaller and it's more of a natural bristle brush versus a rubber brush um, like the Benefit ones. I feel like it's a nice size. So let's just go ahead. My brows are done. I just need to set them. Ooh, I like that already. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. Let's go in a little bit closer. That looks good. That looks really, really good. I like how much comes off on there as well. Let's just go in and do the sides. See, they're kind of droopy, right? Because I haven't set them and I was doing my bangs and stuff like that. So uh, let's go in and re-lift them. You know what, so far so good. The test is whether or not it keeps them like this, right? Because the initial effect is absolutely beautiful. Just fluffs them up, shapes them, defines them. We'll see if they stay like that. All right, back out to do some cheeks. We have two of the lip and cheek glows. I got both colors because I felt like the light one was more for my skin tone, but the dark one just looked almost like a really beautiful coming from outside flush. I didn't want to skip out on them just in case it is limited edition and they disappear again. So let's go ahead and put on the lighter color, which is Color of Dreams. Beautiful Pillow Talk packaging. And look at the outside of this compact, so pretty. And then we just open it up. Has a mirror. I believe this is the lighter color, color of dreams. Yeah, we'll do one on each side and I'm going to use my fingers. Sometimes I do like to use a little bit of like a stippling brush. I might do that as well if I don't get enough impact using my fingers, but let's go ahead. It does feel very creamy, but not overly slippy. There is a bit of like a tackiness to it, which I like. Oh, and it has this light, like vanilla smell. That's so pretty. So finger is working okay. That's just one layer. It goes over very nice. It's very sheer, slightly glowy, not overly glowy, just very, very natural looking and a very nice texture because you can tell it's going to stay on. It's not overly slippy. I am going to use the stippling brush for my second layer. I love the vanilla scent, so pretty. And I prefer this. I just feel like it has a larger surface area. I'm just able to get it done a little bit more efficiently. I feel because of the texture, because it's not overly slippy, 
I do feel that it would work very well on even bare skin. So if you wanted to just put on like a tinted moisturizer or just your sunscreen uh, or a skin tint or nothing, right? I think it would still stay on and apply absolutely beautifully to give you just a little bit of something something when you don't wear really any makeup. A lot of times powder products don't stick to bare skin. I'm going to put that aside and go in with Color of Passion. These are so hard to open. I don't even know half the time how to do it. Okay, so same packaging, just a little bit darker, but same sort of like natural undertone. I'm going to go ahead and again try with my fingers first and then most likely switch to a stippling brush. I want to say slightly more brown, almost like a rose wood. Not dark by any means, but you definitely get more pigment right off the bat. Okay, I'm going to now put a little bit more on with a stipple brush. I just, again, I think I prefer that method. And let's dot it on. It does blend out really nice, considering that it is quite tacky in texture. A little bit on my chin, a bit on my nose. I don't see a huge difference between the two. I feel like if you built up the lighter one, you could get a similar effect. This one maybe has a slightly more berry look to it, whereas this is slightly more rosy, but you don't really need both. All right, next step, we'll just line our lips with Pillow Talk. So happy I have a backup of this because it's becoming super stubby. And then I'm going to go in with, I'll try the lighter shade for now, the color of dreams. We'll just dab it on to the lips. That is literally what I wanted the Pillow Talk lipstick to look like. Okay, I'm really, really liking that. So again, the cheeks, color of passion, not much difference, you guys, at all, even off camera and I know on camera it's looking very similar and then color of dreams color of dreams on the lips I love it I think it looks so fresh so pretty and I do feel it would be the perfect blush to wear on those no makeup days when you're just at home and you want a little bit of color and me being such a blush freak because I do like some color on my cheeks I feel like my cheeks naturally don't get a lot of color in them this would be so perfect just to wear on those days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup but I want some color I think this looks very pretty as usual Charlotte Tilbury makes it easy to look glowy and healthy and just plain pretty and I do appreciate that with all of her products and then on top of it all they're packaged so nicely this is not cheap it's $50 a pop so I don't necessarily recommend you need both of them you really don't I think if I were to choose I would have just for my skin tone got the lighter one and I love how it looks on the lips as well it does sort of have like that sheer lipstick kind of like balmy texture to it so essentially you could use a lipstick obviously in place for for blush and lipstick like that's kind of what it feels like a very very balmy type lip product almost slightly tacky if I were to use a highlighter I probably could use powder let's try actually before we go let's try and use a little bit of powder highlighter to see how it works okay let's go ahead and highlight because I haven't highlighted yet I do have a decent amount of glow I feel with this product there is a slight tackiness and that's because it is a cream blush and it doesn't dry down to a powder so let's just try and see if we can put on a little bit of highlighter normally I think with this type of product I, I would just use a cream highlighter over top but we're just playing just to see texture wise what we can get away with so I'm going to use a synthetic brush from MAC tap off the excess I'm using soft and gentle from MAC which is a big product and maybe what I'll first do is just try dabbing it so so pretty let's try the other side and I do feel that it almost like slightly sets it in place setting your blush in place with highlighter that's perfection okay guys final thoughts I absolutely love these do I think you need both no I really really don't I think if you are on the more darker side of the spectrum definitely go with the more pigmented one because it'll just be more seamless to apply and you won't have to layer as much on. I think if you're uber, uber fair, go with the lighter one. Anywhere in between, it just depends. And I do feel if you want to put less product on, the darker one is the way to go because it just has that slight more pigmentation, slightly more berry, whereas the Color of Dreams, the lighter one, is a little bit more rosy undertone. 
but at the end of the day, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference. I can't, to be honest. Well, it's a very, very beautiful, seamless product, and I absolutely recommend getting it if you like cream blush. And a bonus to this one is that the way it's textured, it is quite a balmy, thicker texture, still sheer though. It would apply beautifully on bare skin. So those days where you are not wearing makeup, but you want a little bit of something, something on the cheeks, this would be perfect for those days. A little bit of mascara and you're like seriously good to go and you look alive and flushed and healthy and just so, so pretty. Brow gel, let's see, I've been kind of playing with my bangs. I feel like they're soft. I feel like they are staying in place, but the true test will be to wear them all day just to see how it goes. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Very, very quick. Leave me a comment down below. Have you guys tried these? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys go today. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.